rate of chemical reaction. Let us understand rate of chemical reaction. Some reactions are very fast in nature. Let us take an example. Take sodium chloride solution in a test tube. Pour silver nitrate solution to it. We will find white PPT of AgCl that is silver chloride being formed instantaneously. The reaction taking place is AgNO3 plus NaCl gives AgCl plus NaNO3. Such reactions which complete instantaneously are fast reactions. Generally, all precipitation reactions are fast reactions. But some reactions are very slow in nature. Let's take an iron piece. Expose iron piece to moist environment. After some days, we will find a rusted iron piece. We will also find a red layer of iron oxide formed on the surface of metal. The reaction taking place is 4Fe plus 3O2 plus 3H2O gives Fe2O3 plus 2FeOH whole thrice. Very very slow reaction. The example of such very slow reaction is setting of cement. It takes nearly 40 years to settle down. After 40 years, the building shows cracks. That is the life of a building. Hence, setting of cement is very slow process. Let there be a system of constant volume. We have a reactant R which on decomposition gives P. At time T1, the concentration of product is equals to P1 and that of reactant equals to R1. At time T2, concentration of product equals to P2 and that of reactant equals to R2. Now, the rate of disappearance of R is equals to R2 minus R1 upon T2 minus T1 which is equals to minus del R by del T. The negative sign shows that concentration is decreasing. Now applying limit that is T tendings to 0, we get limit T tendings to 0 minus del R by del T equals to T of R by dt. Now rate of appearance of P is equals to P2 minus P1 upon T2 minus T1 which is equals to del P by del T. Now applying limit at T tendings to 0, we get limit T tendings to 0 del P by del T equals to dp by dt.